And if we come strong in the world and our faith is strong and our actions are strong, then we go home to Jannah. So I just want to change the title from Come Strong or Go Home to Come Strong and Go Home. The strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer and in each there is good. Seek that which, strive assiduously for that which benefits you. Rely on Allah and don't be incompetent. Don't be incapable. And if you're afflicted by something, don't say, if only I had done such and such, rather say, Allah decreed something and what He decreed came to pass. Otherwise, you will open the door for the for shaitan to play with you. Strong believer is one whose faith is strong. That's the first component of a strong believer, one who has strong faith, one who has a strong resolve. They're not going to be easily deterred. They're not going to turn back. If some of you are old enough to recall or you've studied enough to know, one of the most inspirational songs of the civil rights movement, as those people were struggling against the vicious racism of a system that was more vicious than apartheid in South Africa, struggling against Jim Crow and the vestiges of slavery that were immediate, that were close by. It wasn't long ago. The distance rather between Jim Crow and slavery is not a great distance. But one of the things that the people would sing because their movement was a spiritual movement and it was infused with spiritual music. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. I'm gonna keep on a walking. Keep on a talking, marching forth to freedom land. We marching forth to Jannah, and we're not going to let anybody turn us around. And that's the attitude that you have to have. And that's a strong believer. No one's going to turn us around. Trump or no one else, we're not going to turn around. We're going to keep on walking and we're going to keep on talking and making dawah and defending our faith and standing up for our faith and let people know who we are and what we believe in. And we're going to march forth to freedom land. We're going to march forth to, to Jannah because real freedom's in Jannah. This world is the boat of trials and tribulations. That's why we can smile. We can keep it all in perspective. So strong in their faith, strong in their resolve, strong in their knowledge, intellectually strong, strong in their soul and in their heart, spiritually strong. And the, the least level of strength is the strength of the body because that physical strength isn't used to worship Allah. If that physical strength isn't used to protect the weak, if that physical strength isn't used to do things that are beneficial to our fellow believers and our fellow human beings on this planet is of no benefit, no benefit whatsoever. So that's the lowest level of strength. And that's unfortunately, that's the one most people work on the hardest. So a brother is in the gym, he's lifting weights, he's hitting bend, doing pull-ups and chin-ups and all kinds of ups. And forgetting that, okay, that's great, that's wonderful, but if you don't translate those chin-ups into something that's gonna elevate you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're wasting your time. You could stay home and become a couch potato. And maybe you'll be better off because you can read more and study more and dhikr more and read more Quran. So that's the lowest level. And the strong believer is better because if you were to use grammatical terminology, the faith of the strong believer and the knowledge of the strong believer and the resolve of the strong believer is muta'addi. It transfers to others. As they say, someone lacking something can't give it to someone else. So a person who has a surplus of strength can help someone else. If they're drowning, you can reach in the water, you can pull them out. But if you don't have a surplus of strength, you might be able to save yourself. So the weak believer can save himself or herself, but they don't have the spiritual energy to touch the lives of others. They might not have the physical strength to physically assist someone 
who's in a desperate situation, which is a laudable act. So in these ways, their faith is there and it's present, but it might be easily challenged. Whereas the faith of a strong believer, you can't challenge it. You cannot challenge it. It is unshakable. And that's why the strong believer is better, but the weak believer is loved by Allah. The strong believer, Ahabu, is more beloved, but the weak believer is beloved to Allah. And this is the beauty of Islam. We don't look down on those who might not be as, as blessed as we are. We don't look down on people of weak faith. We try to inspire them with our strong faith, not with our words. We don't look down on people who might be struggling spiritually. We try to provide the spiritual energy. It's all about energy that can uplift them and can inspire them to be better and to try and to endeavor to get closer to Allah. So if we know the strong believer is better, then what does the Prophet tell us? Seek assiduously for those things, to attain those things that benefit you, those things that help to make you strong. If you find yourself, your faith isn't where you want it to be. Your love of spirituality isn't where you would like it to be. Your attachment to the Quran isn't what you would like it to be. Don't just sit there and, and lament your condition. Read more Quran, study more tafsir to create a stronger bond with the Quran. Take more time to remember Allah so that you're each, you systematically build yourself up at a time, step by step by step. This is the beauty of Islam. It's a religion compatible with nature, the natural state of things. You never see the tallest tree in the forest. You never see a redwood tree grow. It just sprouted a leaf. You'll never see that happen. It's very slow and it's gradual, but it's sure. That which comes slowly is taken away very slowly. That which comes suddenly might dissipate in an instant. So we're not looking for this emotional moment of spiritual growth. Just, ha, ah, I got it. You probably got tricked by somebody, if that's the case. No, you gradually build yourself up. You don't even notice it, but your friends notice it. You notice Ahmed, he's a lot more patient. You notice Fatima, she, she doesn't get agitated like she used to. SubhanAllah, you can see she's really growing. She's maturing. That's the kind of growth that results in a strong believer. So we seek out those things which strengthen us and put your trust in Allah. Because we realize no matter how strong we are, in reality we're weak. Our nature is that we're weak. Our true strength only comes through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we rely, rely on Allah, we're relying on the source of all strength. And if we're relying on the source of all strength, we will be strong, but we'll be strong through Allah and with Allah. An indication that a person is relying on, on their actions is a lessening of hope when they experience a setback. But if we're relying on Allah, we understand that setback is just a test. That setback is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we are relying on Allah and trusting in Allah, we know the next round could well be the victory. And so we're not depressed. We understand that that setback is a growth opportunity. That setback is an opportunity to learn something about ourselves. That setback is an opportunity for us to display good etiquette, good adab in our dealing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so that can be the key to the subsequent victory. So we have to rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we're never depressed, we're never saddened because we know it's from Allah, it's to Allah, it's with Allah, it's all about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we're just means towards the attainments of ends in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we accept the part that we have. Don't let anything deter you. Don't let anything turn you back. And if we're marching that road with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we're marching that road, that difficult road, knowing that Allah is wise and Allah is just, then 
will keep marching that road right into Jannah. May Allah Ta'ala bless all of us to continue on our respective paths right into Jannah. May Allah bring us on a common path where our strengths can reinforce each other. And these individual drops of rain, brothers and sisters, hold your drop together. And eventually, with, with the, by the leave of Allah, bi'ithnillah, we'll come together and we'll all reinforce each other and we'll make that mighty river and we'll sweep some of the oppression and some of the tribulation, the exploit exploitation, the indecencies that are plaguing people, we'll sweep them away with the force of our current. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Coco. Cool, cool. 